Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a tutorial for you today and it's on this look right here. This is a really close look to what I was wearing in a Friday Favorites a while back and a bunch of you guys asked for a tutorial on that look. So it's using Makeup Geek and ColourPop. So I've got ColourPop and Makeup Geek on my eyes, Makeup Geek on my cheeks, and then ColourPop on my lips. So I tried to pick kind of like more affordable um, options for this look. The rest of my face I didn't really follow that, but everything that I show in this tutorial is more on the affordable side. So I always kind of enjoy doing that every now and then, a more affordable yet glamorous makeup look for you guys. So as far as what this look is, it's just a really warm, like coppery, kind of bronzy sort of an eye look. It, it, I said this in my Friday Favorites. It reminds me of like a desert or like red clay or something and then you pair in the purple lips and I just really love it. it. It reminds me of like just a desert and I love pairing it with like burgundy and turquoise. It just feels very like southwesterny or something so I really enjoy it. It's definitely a more glamorous look but I would wear this out in regular everyday life and I'm going to today so I hope that you really like the look. If you want to see how to get it then just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start by priming my eyes. Today I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now I'm going to apply Max Painterly Paint Pot to the top half of my lids just to cancel out discoloration. Now take some kind of a coppery or bronzy base. Today I'm going to be using ELF's Brownie Points and apply that to your lids. Now I'm going to take some of Creme Brulee and Desert Sands on a Delium Tools 783 brush and I'm going to apply that right into my crease and transition area and just blend that a lot. Now I'm going to take a Delium Tools 781 brush and I'm going to get some of Poppy first and then I'm going to go in with Razzleberry next. So Poppy and this is really pigmented, so be careful with this. I'm gonna apply this right into my outer corner and blend that into my crease just to really give some warmth. Now I'm taking Razzleberry and applying that out there too. It's a lot of colors, but this is what I did in that look, so it's just about building up those colors to give that really warm, rustic look to your crease and outer corner. So that's what I'm going for. But both Poppy and Razzleberry are gorgeous warm shades. Now take some kind of a tiny crease brush or just some kind of a small brush. This is an e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush. And I'm gonna first get some of Mocha this one right here, Mocha, and then I'm going to get some of Corrupt, and we're basically just going to be um, darkening up our outer corner and our outer V. Outer corner, outer V, whatever you want to call that. So just apply those colors right in your outer corner. You want to really want to concentrate these. You can lightly blend into your crease, but you really want most of this color in your outer corner. But when I do blend into my crease, I'm lightening up the pressure on my brush, so I'm pressing less uh, with less pressure. So it really just barely blends it over. For my brow bone, I'm going to take a combination of White Lies and Vanilla Bean. This is a Stelazi S124 brush and just apply that. And this is also a way that you can do some blending and cleaning up the edges of your crease and transition colors. So I'm gonna, I'm going to do that too. I can't talk today. I'm gonna do 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 do. Oh dear. And then I went back in with a little bit more of Poppy so I felt like I lost some of that warmth, so I added a little bit more of that back. 
Now in that look I had used Chanel New Moon, which I know a lot of people don't have that. So I'm gonna be combining some different things to get a similar look. So I'm gonna get some of In the Spotlight and Grandstand. This is on a Real Techniques Detailer Brush. And I'm going to apply this right on the inner half of my lids and really just build up this color. I'm gonna first use the brush and then I'll probably go back in with my finger just for more intensity. And then for a little added sparkle and sheen, I'm going to apply some of I Heart This with my finger right over the top of that. And I'm kind of just lightly dabbing because I don't want to like fully change the color of that lid color, but I just want a little bit of added sparkle and dimension to it. I'm just kind of like barely tapping. And then as always, you can go back in with your crease brush and do some blending. And if you feel the need to reapply some of those colors, you can do that now. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna apply some of this NYX Slide On Glide On pencil in Brown Perfection. And then I'm gonna go over that pencil with some Grandstand with a Sedona Lace EB21 brush. my Rimmel Scandalize pencil in black and then do a little bit of a wing and line my upper lash line with my Physicians Formula Eye Booster. Now just curl your lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm going to be using the CoverGirl the Super Sizer and also the Clump Crusher. All right, so here is a shot of the finished eye look. So I went ahead and applied, I'd already applied foundation, but I went ahead and applied concealer, powder, and bronzer. I always apply my bronzer, I have a brush here. I always apply my bronzer the same way, so I didn't go ahead and show it this time. But for blush, I'm going to take some of Spellbound, which is this one from Makeup Geek, on a Sigma Large Angle Contour F40 brush, and just apply that. highlight I'm gonna get some of honeymoon on a pro a Sephora pro contour 79 brush and just apply that kind of as a blush topper but it has a little bit of shimmer to it so it kind of works as like a blush highlight a blush topper highlight something or other that gives you a little bit of a glow Now in that look, I had used the Urban Decay Matte Revolution Lipstick in After Dark, which I absolutely love, but you've already seen that on me, and I was trying to do some slightly more affordable products in this look, like Makeup Geek and ColourPop, so I have an alternative. So I'm gonna use the NYX Lip Liner in Plum and the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Flawless. So that wraps up this look and tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what some of your favorite Makeup Geek or ColourPop combos are, or even together, if you use them together. They're two of my favorite brands, so I'd love to know some of your favorite combos together. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.